Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how you can both adjust exposure and correct white balance manually off a gray card. As you know, we advocate taking a picture of the gray card, checking your histogram to see where your exposure is lying. And two things that will help you are this. Number one, we want to check what is the level of our gray card and what are the levels in each of the three channels. One way it helps, if it's not already up on your menu, is go to Window and slide down and turn on your Info tab. If you look over here, when I hover the eyedropper anywhere on the gray card, it's going to show the numbers for the red, the green, and the blue channel. So if I put it right here, my red channel is at 94, my green is at 103, and my blue is at 112. This discloses two things about my gray card shot. Number one, globally it is underexposed because the definition of medium gray should be equal amounts of gray each at 128 in the red, green, and blue channel. Number two, you'll see that there is substantially more blue in the image than there is red or green because my blue is at 112, my red is at 94, so there's close to a 30 point difference between the red and the green component. Secondarily, if we bring up the histogram and we go, you know, there's the short version that'll just show you the one histogram, but if you tell it you want it all channels view or the expanded view, you will get the red, the green, and the blue. So if we hover and look at the info, we can see that red is way shorter than is green, and green is way shorter than the blue, which is disclosed right here on the histogram. Here's red, that's the gray card right there. Here's green, here's blue. So if, if we have equal amounts of red, green, and blue, then those three spikes should line up. Now, of course, you can take the eyedropper tool and do a uh, automatic adjustment by just clicking on the gray card, but I think it helps fundamentally to understand how to do it manually. Instead of hovering the mouse somewhere here on the gray card and looking over here at the red, green, and blue as it changes, if while you have the eyedropper selected, you just hover someplace on the gray card, hold down the shift key and click, it puts this little marker. So now even if I take the cursor off the gray card, that's marker number one, it just stays at a steady state. So it shows what is right under that marker is 94, 102, 110. You can actually drop up to four markers, you know, anywhere you choose. And so now you see I have marker 1, marker 2, marker 3, and marker 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. These help us then. If I am wanting to correct this manually, I go to, you know, I could do it as an adjustment layer. I could do it here. Image adjustment. i got to move my, i got to move my video bar, which you can't see out of the way. Image adjustment levels. And if I go to the red channel, and I know this is my medium gray spike, and all I do is move this spike to under my middle gray, look over here, notice it changed it from 103 to 124. Because as you update these markers, it shows your before and your after. Well, in the red channel, I'm trying to get to 128. So all I have to do is move this over till I get to 128. I go to the green channel. It is presently at 112. And if I were to move this underneath the gray tone spike, my mouse is super sensitive. Uh, I need it. There it goes, 128. So by moving the central slider and levels to under the spike, I started at 112 and now I'm at 128. Last, I go to the blue and 
I'm already at 122, and I just need to move it a hair till I get to 128. My mouse is so sensitive, stopping right at one point. I'm going to stop at 129. My mouse is set up to be super sensitive, and I can't get it to write at 128. But you get the idea. So now, not only is my gray card color corrected, but my gray card is all three histograms are in alignment, and it shows that my exposure and color is corrected. Now if while I was in here in levels and I made those adjustments to the red, green, and blue and before I tell it OK, I can come over here and I can say save that as a preset. So the adjustment that I made to fix the gray card I can save as a preset give it a name like adjusted gray card and I just save them to my desktop then if I open a second image in the series if I want to apply the adjustment that I made to the gray card I can just check and pick my adjustment and so it's a way of syncing anyway so back to the theory the theory is we have our exposure correct if we've got it right at 128 and my mean for the selected area is 129 and we know we don't have a white balance problem if the three histograms show up together get in there play around with one you'll see what I'm talking